Hi folks and uh, welcome to Mass and Physics for you. In this video we're going to plot the graph of the function y equal 3 sin x. This is an example of a trigonometric function, periodic function, that is a wave function. It's a function that repeats itself. Just one example of a wave is the C wave, right? electromagnetic waves and so on in physics and engineering you will encounter so this is just the basic because we want to simplify it first <coughs> so we have y equals 3 sine x normally the basic function is y equals sine x there's nothing here it's just one that's this number here is the amplitude it means how high the wave is above the center line okay or middle line so a this sometimes they use the letter a for amplitude so uh, this is number here is the amplitude okay we write it here so a for amplitude uh, all right normally in basic function it's not this is just y equals sine x that is it's one <clears throat> but uh, here we so if it was a basic function so it will be one that is the maximum value or the maximum height of the wave so it goes up to plus one and then goes down to minus one that's how it oscillates or it moves uh, uh, okay and we are going to plot this function in this domain x between minus two pi radians and plus two pi radians as we see here on the x-axis, these are the values of x. <coughs> and in degrees, it's minus 360 degrees to plus 30, 360 degrees, if we are using degrees, not radians. <coughs> All right. As we can see, now let's use 3 now. Because in this example, the amplitude is a 3. So that's why on the y-axis, we plot 3. If there was no 3, we just put 1. Okay, so we've got the plus 3 here and minus 3 there. All right. <coughs> and the reason is that sine x, <coughs> sine x is no more than 1. See, sine x cannot be more than 1. Maximum value of sine x is 1. If you look at the, if you look at the unit circle, let's say this is a unit circle. That is, the radius of this unit circle is 1. That's why they call it a unit circle. So the radius is 1. The sign, the sign of the angle is represented by its y value, by its y coordinate. Okay? So for, let's say this is an angle theta. At this point on the circle, let's say this is the x and y for this point. So this means for this point here, the sine of this angle theta is x, and the, uh, the cosine of the angle theta is x, but the sine is y. So, so sine is the vertical. All right. So y, that is on the x y. This is, this is, the sine. As you can see, this is unit circle, so this is uh, maximum one, which represents theta equals to 90 degrees, because we start from theta equals zero at the x-axis. So we start from here, we go in, in clockwise direction, counterclockwise direction is positive, so this is counterclockwise direction, it's plus, so here theta is positive, because we're going in the counterclockwise direction, like that, from zero to 90. Or pi over 2. So the sine of 90, of angle 90, is 1. Alright? So sine 90 is 1. But sine 0 here, the angle 0, which is the point that lies on the x-axis. This is angle 0. As you can see, it's y, its vertical component, is 0. For this point, its coordinates is 1, 0. That is, the x is 1 and the y is 0. That, therefore, the sine of angle 0 is, is 0. That's, that's why for the sine function it passes through the origin because sine zero, the x is represents the angles, 
sine angle zero is zero. All right, so that's the point. We'll pass it through that. What other points that uh, they got their sign is zero? If you look at this unit circle, this point also has its sign zero. Why? Because it's on the x-axis. So its y component is also zero. Okay, so sine theta pi equals pi or 180 is also zero. So here uh, we have at this point we have zero also. The sine is zero as well at, at this point. This is pi. This is the positive direction. This is minus pi as well. So that's why it's a negative. That's why we are going to talk also about the negative directions. So you are clear about the positive and negative. A negative direction is the direction of rotation which is clockwise. So the angle uh, here is zero. The one that makes with the x-axis, you start here, angle theta equals zero. Angle theta equals zero. And you move in this direction, so we have negative angles. Here, we move in that direction, we have positive angles. So if you move up to this point, then you made 90 degrees. So we say theta equals minus 90 degrees. Theta at this point equals minus 90 degrees. Equals minus pi over 2. Right? So these are the same points, but it depends upon which direction you're going. So for, for this, as you can see, the sign is minus 1. It's the vertical component okay, of this point. So the sign for minus pi over 2 is minus 1. Right? Yeah, and for minus pi is zero. For theta equal minus three pi over two, we have plus one. Okay, on this side. And if you go back to minus two pi, it's zero. The same thing here. On this direction, you start with zero. For ninety degrees, it's one. For one eighty degrees, uh, pi is uh, zero. And here minus one for two seventy three pi over two, and back to zero for two pi. That helps us to plot the graph. Okay, so to do that, okay, simplest thing, we draw the construction lines along the maximum and minimum. See, imagine that like this is a wave that goes up and down between these two, between these two lines. All right, so it's a wave function. Okay, we said that for this one, the period is 2 pi. For this function, the period, see the number here, is 1. When we say sine x, it means sine 1 x. So for this, the period is, is 2 pi. All right. We can write here t. There is an equation that says t equals 2 pi over b. b is this number here. Sometimes they call it the frequency. Sometimes they call it the frequency. Okay, so because it's 1 equals to 1 in this case, then we write 2 pi over 1. So for this, it's 2 pi. <coughs> that is, the period means the time that is needed, required to complete one, one cycle or one wavelength. So it repeats itself after that. This is one wave, then you'll go after that, another another wave, and so on. So it's the time to complete one wave, or one wavelength. Okay, so that's there. This is there. We start with zero. This is pi. So we have zero here, and we have zero here. What we have to do is we subdivide it here. So this is zero. This is pi. This will be pi over two, or ninety degrees, if you if you wish. Uh, here you got 3 pi over 2 and or 270 degrees all right so this is on the positive side so we, we draw also dotted lines because they have us in plotting same thing on this side this is the negative side so minus pi we take half of this so this is minus pi over 2 so the difference is this is the negative side on this side, we have minus 3 pi over 2. 
which corresponds to minus 270 degrees. Again, like that, you can also do the uh, edges as simple as that. Uh, all right, uh, the last one here. Okay, now the time comes to sketch. We said for the sign it's zero here, is the maximum at pi over two on the positive side. So sign <coughs> sign 90 is one, but multiplied by three, so one times three is, gives you three. So it goes like that. If there is no three, then we draw one, and it will be it will be at this point. Okay, so it goes back to zero for the sign sine of pi, then my, uh, minus one, then goes back to zero. Uh, all right. Yeah. So this is sine two seventy is <coughs> is negative one, as we can see from here. So this is on the positive side. Let's also check on the negative side, actually. So it goes to minus 1, because sine minus 90 is minus 1. Then back to 0 for minus 80, it is minus 80. Then for, for uh, minus 3 pi over 2, that goes to 1. And back to 0 at that point. So as you can see, this is the wave function for y equal 3 sine x. If it was, there was no, uh, no sine x, no 3 sine x, just 1 sine x. So let's uh, say this is, this is for y equals 3 sine x. If there was, uh, no, no three. Then all it, all you had, you could have done is like this. At one, you draw the two dotted lines, minus one, and simply the same thing. This is plus one, so zero. Instead of going up to three, it goes to one. Then let to zero. All right, and that's the negative there, and up there. On this side, the same thing to minus 1, to 0, to 1, to 0. So that's for y equals sine x. So what do we notice here? This is the basic function. y equals sine x is, as we said before, this is the basic function with amplitude 1. And sine 1x frequency is 1. There is one cycle between 0 and 2 pi. So this is the new function y equals sine 3x, uh, th 3 sine x. What does it represent? It's dilation or stretching along the y-axis, okay, by a factor of a 3. So it's the same thing as the same shape, like the basic function, but it's stretched up by a factor of a 3. All right, so that's the, the effect of the amplitude, like dilation along the y-axis. And that's it, folks. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope you like it. And please subscribe. And see you in the next video. Thank you.